Peace, 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 and abundant blessings, fam. What's going on? Coming to you live all the way from San Francisco. Headed out to um, headed out to Atlanta. So shout out to all my ATL family out there. Um, what y'all think about Trump, yo? Trump cutting back on food stamps. What's going on? What's going on? Trump, Trump cutting back on food stamps. People mad. He talking about bringing people um, non-perishable boxes and stuff. And so people are a little bit upset upset right now. Search and service and different buildings are a little bit upset. And so, you know, as you see, now is the time to just really, you know, just tap inside of your own financial independence. Because we can't be depending on the government or any outside forces to um to be our lavish abundance like we can't depend on anybody to secure our future only we can do that only we can do that like we have to really start tapping in inside of ourselves and stop depending on the, what the government's going to do because as i've been telling y'all this is day six in this finan financial liberation is that the economy right now is going through an economical financial shift and things are really getting shifted up right now you guys a lot of people are out of their jobs right now robots is replacing the jobs hey before i go in can y'all hear me let me make sure my volume up if our board is playing can i just get a thumbs up if y'all can hear me can i get a thumbs up can i get a thumbs up if y'all can hear me i'm not really sure let me see, can y'all hear me? All right, let me see. I know I got some people watching, so if y'all can just let me know if y'all can hear me. Before, oh, look at that. Okay, I like that. I don't like that. Okay, peace. So um, maybe you guys can't hear me. I'm not really sure, but um, so so yeah. So it's important to tap inside the self and pull out your own um your own abundance of wealth because we're all wealthy right and so stuff like trump stopping food stamps it shouldn't really affect us because we should already have you know a way to provide for ourselves and i understand everybody doesn't so that's why today is going to be the day that you start so i'm going to talk about um different streams of um of income that we all can tap into and so the first stream is, of course, earned income. We all know what earned income is. That means you're trading your time for money. You know, you're physically working for somebody to get um, income. So that's what earned income is, right? And then you have capital gain, right? So capital gain is, you know, you're getting some type of, like, interest off of some type of savings bonds or CDs or some type of um, high-yielding, like, a savings account. So... You know, having interest, a lot of people right now are doing Bitcoins and all of that stuff. So something that gives you interest, another form of um, income is also rental, rental property. You know what I mean? If you got an extra room in your house, rent that room out. Rent that room out. You ain't standing there. You got a big basement. Rent that room out. Let people stay in there. If you need some extra cash flow, you know, rent the room out. Be an Airbnb. You know what I mean? Um... Another way to also get income is um, is passive income, you know, doing something where your money is working for you, you know, like doing some type of business where you're online, like, because this is how I try to kick it to people, like, people be like, well, you know, I don't know about pyramid jobs and, you know, scams and pyramid schemes, y'all gotta come out that mindset, that's that's still it's still lack mindset. Attention in the concourse area for all and so, um, confirmed on flight 1056. And so one of the ways I like to Vegas. have people Please think about stuff is think about how many restaurants you didn't refer Again, your friends to. to. Think about how many so products you, you referred your friends to and you didn't even Please get paid for it. You didn't get paid for here. it at all. So we refer people to stuff every day and we don't even get paid. So why not join something that you believe in? You may believe in a doTERRA product, right? Some of you guys get doTERRA and you love doTERRA. So why not become a doTERRA representative? And since you love that product so much and you're telling your friends so much, why don't you get paid for being, being that? 
We out here giving free information and not getting paid and missing out on passive income opportunities. Some of you guys are writers. Y'all can write resumes for people, get on fiber, write resumes for people, write people's business plans. I mean, there's so many ways to use our talents and gifts. You know what I mean? I like to speak with people and help people. I'm good at communication. So, you know, what I'm going to be doing is going to be with building and communication and working with people so that I can use my talents, my God-given my God given talents that God has gave me to be prosperous on this planet. We all, are, we all have God-given rights, things that we could do to bring abundance in. You know, a lot of people say, well, I don't, I don't have any money. I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Well, what do you like to do? What is your passion? What is your goal? Okay, you like taking care of kids? See, see if you can get a daycare popping. See if you can watch some kids in the neighborhood to bring in some money. But there's, you know, we got to stop making excuses, fam. You know what I'm saying? Things are about to start really popping off in the, in the news and popping off in general in this world. And there's going to be some um, financial shifts. And you just got to be ready for it. That's all. Ain't nothing to be all scary about. But I'm saying, like, get ready for it. Prepare for it. Prepare for what's to come. And I had written something. I had wrote something down. I wanted to share with y'all, um, and thank you everybody for just joining in and just tuning in. This is day six, financial liberation. You know, by the end of this, tomorrow's day seven. By the end of this, I want Your everybody to be able to be, you know, at least a step closer to their goals. Peace, peace, peace. Welcome to the call. Um, because, you know, we all came on this planet to just be able to just live, love, and laugh, and just have fun. Not, sh not stressing every day. Not working hard every day for other people. You know, get out. Enjoy nature. Enjoy your kids while they're still young. You know, find some kind of free time from working every day. And, and enjoy some free time with your kids. Your kids grow up so fast. Before you know it, they're going to be a teenager and out the house. And you miss their whole life because you was working the whole time. But if you have multiple streams of income and different ways to get income, you'll have your time back. I always say... Those who control your time control your mind. So if you don't have your own time to yourself, how are you going to get to do what you want to do? It's a Tuesday. Wait, what's, today, what's, no, today is a Wednesday. It's, a, it's Wednesday. It's about 9.53 a.m. Most people are at work right now. I'm about to fly out to Atlanta. So I know if I can do it, y'all can do it. I know if I, if I sat at my job and I left my job back in 2014 to 2015, and haven't worked for anybody since, I know y'all can do it. I know y'all can do it because I believe in myself. And if I believe in myself, I believe in y'all. I believe in everybody that stopped through on this call right now to get these little jewels, to get these little nuggets. Because I know you guys are ready and you're ready for a change. So um, so we got earned income, we got passive income. And Do passive emotion, income is really passive emotion, income, y'all. You really, like literally right now I'm on this call and I'm still getting paid just for being like right here right now so that's what passive income is like you literally breathe and your check is going to come to you right so having that is so important and it gives you leverage so when your when your monthly payment comes in and you pay all of your bills guess what you have passive income you have multiple streams of income you got money coming in from your real your rental property you got money coming in from your stocks you got money coming in from your bonds, from your CDs, and then you'll have enough money to leave your children. Come on, y'all. We got to start doing stuff for our kids, too. You know, what are we doing today to impact our future? What are your goals? These are questions that I had to ask myself. I didn't even really start thinking about it like that. I was like, what is my goals? What do I want to do? And now that I have those goals, I'm laser focused in that. I'm laser focused in helping the community bring financial literacy back. I'm focusing in even bringing this to the children. The, children's need, the children need to know this, right? So bringing in other forms of income is important, y'all. Whether it be through real estates, whether it be, you know, through you do tarot card readings, you do NATO charts, you write books, um, you, you do jewelry, whatever it is, have it so we can prepare for these times to come. I got one thing I'm going to let y'all know. Y'all stay on the call. I got one more thing so to tell y'all. Numbers never lie, right? This is this is my motto. Numbers never lie, right? So I want y'all to add up something real quick to me. And after y'all add it up, hit me up in my inbox and let me know how you feel about it, right? Listen, y'all stay on the call, right? 
So I want you to average the time you work, right? So the average person works a nine to five job. That's eight hours, right? So that's eight hours Monday through Friday of your lifetime that you're working for somebody else, right? You times that by five. That's 40 hours a week. You are working to build somebody Pitches else's dream. The final That's 40 for hours a week that you're missing out on your children's 10, soccer games, their piano years. lessons. You're now missing out on everything, right? Add the next thing up. So the average person, I'm sorry if it's skipping, I'm in the um, airport. So it's, it's funny how, um, what I was going to say is, and then add up what time you get home, right? So the average person works from 9 to 5. They get home to, they get home about 6. And some people get home later. I'm just giving y'all an average time. But I want y'all to add your own time up and y'all let me know how it works. So you get off work at about 6 o'clock, right? So from about 6 to 10, because you're going to sleep like around 10 o'clock. And like I said, this is a rough estimate. If this is not your time frame, I want you to add yours up, right? So the average person comes home at 6 o'clock, and they're going to sleep at 10, right? That's four hours. So you have four hours to yourself to do whatever you're going to do, whether that's cooking food for the kids, cooking food for yourself, reading a book, whatever it may be, four hours to yourself. You times that by five, you have 20 hours for a Monday through Friday schedule to yourself. Think about how long you sleep. The average person sleeps from about... Let's just say to um, 10 to, to 6, right? 10 to 6, right? So that's 8 hours. So you're, so you're sleeping 8 hours a day, and a whole week you're sleeping 40 hours. So your, your work and your sleep is the same hours. Numbers don't lie. I want y'all to add it up. I'm not talking out the side of my mouth just to talk. I want y'all to add it up because numbers don't lie. <laughs> they don't lie. They're the greatest teachers. Like, I love it. So add it up. I'm running back by y'all. Add up how many hours you work. Add up after then. Add up how many um how many hours you have free to yourself before you go to bed. And then I want you to add up um how many hours you sleep. When I sat in my office in about two I think 2014, I was sitting in my office. I did this calculation, and when I seen that my free time was less. I was like, oh, no, I'm leaving this job. I'm going to do what I got to do. So I start investing. I start saving money. I start budgeting my money because I knew within a year I was going to leave that company and never work for nobody again. Never work for nobody again. And ever since then, I haven't worked for anybody. So it's very possible, family. It's very possible for you to do it. People are doing it every day. And today is the day that you're going to start. Today is the day I am encourage you to find a way to bring in another form of income. Today is the day I encourage you to at least come up with one goal. It can be simple. I want to read this book by the end of this week. Okay, cool. If you don't have any goals, you don't have any focus. If you don't have any focus, you don't have any direction in life. So get your goals right. Do up this timesheet and y'all inbox me. We need to talk about this. And if anybody is interested in finding uh, another way of passive income straight from your phone with no recruiting, let me know. Because I have an opportunity and I have the tools and the education to help you. So I'm not going to be in here too long, y'all. I got to catch this flight. If you guys are in the Georgia area, holla at me. I'm going to be bringing a wealth building um, event out there to the people. Bring your kids. Um, I'm ready to awaken the mind of the kids and get them into uh, financial literacy. So... I'm here, you guys. I love you all for joining this call. Never, ever let anybody tell you you can't do anything. You can do anything you put your mind to. Peace out.